So, hey guys, I'm back. Um, um, I just got back from Fredericksburg, and right now, hopefully, I ain't no snakes while I'm out here. Killed one last week. I was by the shed, but I stopped by the local bike shop and I picked up Renthal grips for my 140. I don't really like the stock grips, and they're starting to wear, so I figured I'd go get a new, new set of chains on. Like, great. Something is up in, like, the ceiling and stuff on, in my shed, so stuff gets all over my, my Kodiak. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Taking them off won't be too big of a deal. It's still kind of dirty because the last time I rode it was really muddy and I just pressure washed it. I pressure washed it, then I used soap, but the mud is kind of weird around here, so like it doesn't stain. But if you leave it on there for a couple days, it will. Actually, because riding it, it was kind of sandy, so from it being on my boot, then run my rubbing on the side of the motor it scratched it oh scratched the mess out of it but i'm not really too worried about it just that's like the normal wear for riding it so i'm not too worried about that these are the grips i got i i saw these i really like the rent the one so i picked these up i think they were 15 bucks i don't have any grip glue so i talked to the guy at the shop at the bike shop, and he said use hairspray, which I've never heard of. But I might have to cut these grips off, which that's gonna suck, but it'll be all right. Um, all right, I'll get this get this going real quick then. I got this grip grip off. Um, it's actually a little weird. Because I think I've seen this in, if y'all know, one of the Tyler Monaghan videos when he was, Monaghan, whatever, I don't know how to say his name. He did, uh, he removed one of the grips off his, one of his, I don't know if it was the 125 he built or his 250. But they, like, infused the grip onto the bar. Which I don't like that at all because it's a pain in the butt to get off. So I'm going to put this one on, see how it is. I'm going to put the throttle one on, the throttle side on. I like the gray on the green on this bike. These are the Renthal Soft, the soft grip. They're, they're their original series, they're the waffles. So I'm gonna let this one sit, probably, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Then I'm, so I'm gonna get that, get that side on. Then I'll probably get on it for a little bit and see how, see how they, see how they are. They gotta be better than the stock ones. Cause I've already worn the stock ones. I've already worn it a lot on it not a lot but it's starting to get get really flat right there kind of so i'm glad i got these so i'm gonna let these sit guy at the bike shop told me he said use hairspray i probably said this in one of the other part in the one of the earlier part of the video but he said use hairspray it, it'll get it on I said all right so got it on there pretty good um I'm probably going to get some of that twine. I'm going to put a, that metal wiring and put it around right there. I think my uncle has some, so I might grab some of him. So I'm going to get this side on. I might. I didn't do it. didn't, like, walk it through. 
in the first one. So I'm kind of going to walk it through on this one just so you all know how to do it. I know if you all put new grips on this bike, you, you got to take the whole one out. So. Like the Kawasaki, it's, the con it's weird, but just you're going to have to cut it. You can't, you can't pull it off. I don't think you can pull it off if, if you're using an air compressor. Um, so I'll get that part done now. So I'll just do another All right, guys. To be honest with you, it's probably see you can see the rubber on my face and the sweat just just from trying. I had to shave the grip off on the on the throttle tube on the throttle side. The throttle side grip. I had to shave the grip off. Like it it looked like it was like permanently stuck onto. Like I'll show you the ground in a second, but I had to shave it with my little knife. When I well, I chose this little knife because it's the one I carry today, but. <sighs> It was a pain in the butt. Well, right now I'm a. Uh, I probably might just put around the yard for a second, make sure. Well, I gotta let these sit, but. I, I like the grip. I like to feel better than the stock ones, but it. Uh, it was sure a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna show you how it looks with the the original series, the gray Renthal. Looks good. I like it. I like the gray. But, um, I might put donut grips on it. No, what, what are they called? Grip donuts. Whatever they're called. I might put those on there. Find me a cool, cool pair. But, uh, if you have a 140 and you want to do this, just make sure. Like, I had to get a lighter and burn, burn a lot of the rubber off. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Um, so right now, I'm going to get this put away. See, look at the rubber on the ground. That's all the stuff I shaved off. So I, I need, I, this thing needs to be cleaned again. But I'm going to put this away, go take a shower. Then I'll, I'm going to go to my buddy's house tonight. This is it so. of this video. I recorded of like a small video like two days ago. It was pretty stupid, so I deleted everything. Um, I'm going to get this put away, and I'll talk to you all later.